In this video, let's look into the variables method uh, within Microsoft Power Automate. Now, the variables method or a function, it references a variable used in the Power Automate flow. So in the Power Automate flow, if you're using any variable, you can reference those variables using variables function. Now, what it returns, it returns the value of a specified variable. Now, this is the syntax variables and then within single quotes, the name of the variable. Now, the output data type can be of any type. So if you are referencing a string array or if you're referencing a string or if you're referencing a Boolean, then the output of that particular uh, function execution will be the same data type as what the variable data type is. Okay. So let's uh, uh, see this example over here. Now here I have a var score array. Now this is an array okay, with numeric elements, number elements. Now, now the name of the variable is var score. Now how do I reference it? I, I can use any compose action. And then here under variables in single quotes, I need to call the name of that variable. Okay, the variable name is var score, which is I have put it in the bracket over here. Right, so let me show in, in demo. So there is a demo var flow, which is manually triggering the flow. And it will take me to the new interface. Let me switch to the classic designer. And let me create a couple of variables. Okay, so, so let me create initialize variable. Okay, and call this as var bool. Okay, now this is a boolean value. And I'll call this as the value as false. Okay, then again, initialize a variable and i'll call this as where string and here i can select string and i'll call this as girish okay and again initialize variable and let me pick a array over here so where array and this is an array. I can have even have object as well. Okay, so just three should suffice. So, so this is an array variable. Now, let me save this value. So I have three variables. One is boolean, second is string, and third is array. Okay, now let me add a new step and call a compose action. So always use a compose action if you want to execute any function. Uh, so if I click on this box, fx, and I can type an expression. So the expression is variables and in single quotes, the name of the variable. Now let's pick up variable, okay? Variable is a variable. So if I again go back here, fx come here expression variables in single quotes variable save it okay now this is how you reference the bool variable now let me do an another compose action and this is the compose and let me do an another compose action so i'll call all those three variables let me copy the name this is where string here again coming here fx variables single quotes the name of the variable so where string save it here again this is where array copy the name of the variable come to compose fx expression variables single quotes paste the variable name Okay, so three variable, three compose action calling using the variables method or function. Let me run this. Now it says flow run failed, okay? Now why it failed, if you see the variable var array of type array cannot be initialized or updated with value of type string, okay? Now, 
why this has happened is because uh, here we are talking about type as array, right? So let's let's take for a simple example. Let, let me just put a number value, okay? And just save this and run this. And now run this, okay? Now this is a number array. This is a string and then the top one is a Boolean one. Okay, now again, I'll run the flow. I'll click on OK. Now flow has run successfully. So that means it has not taken the array of multiple data types. OK. If you see here, the first one where bool, bool is false. Here where string, string is girish. And this is where array with number value, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you see the compose, the output is false, right? So it has correctly read the Boolean variable. For the string variable, it has correctly read this output. See the raw output, raw output is garish. And for a compose action over here, it has correctly took the array variable with a number input. Okay. Now that's it all about uh, variables function. So use variable function uh, if you want to reference any variable of uh, say any data type. Now I've demonstrated three data types, Boolean, uh, string and array you can use other data types as well now whatever data type you choose compose action will try returning output those particular values uh, variable within your uh, compose action now here uh, you need to make sure that you use the function the fx write a correct expression and even you can uh, in the compose action you can reference it multiple times so example if i say variables and if i say where string okay if i save this you know even i can do this over here as well okay as an input now uh, for variable string again if you click over here on the where string go to the expression and then you can you know view those uh, values now variables can only take one input okay you can't have multiple variable call at the same time for in order to have multiple variable call you need to use it multiple times okay so in this bracket you can only reference one variable at a time so that's also one of the uh, important thing to note and if you want to append multiple variables then you need to use it in a different context so you need to start appending it using either concat or just uh, write those variable call one after the other. So that's it folks. This is all about using variables within Microsoft Power Automate. Thanks for watching.